What's going on everyone, it is Odin Gaming or Jack here and welcome to a brand new video. Now today's video is going to be something a little bit different but something also special from usual. Today I'm going to tell you the story of how I got into Call of Duty and how I first discovered it. And it only seems fitting that in the gameplay you'll see now, they is Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay but even though I didn't obviously experience Modern Warfare Remastered as my first Call of Duty, I did however experience Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare as my first ever Call of Duty I ever played. And this is how it started. So it all started one day when I was at my old primary like old, old primary like way back in the day. And one day my friend asked me if I wanted to come around to his house for either tea or dinner. So I said yes and when school was over I think I can remember I came straight from school to his house. But yeah I don't remember having uniform. I must have come straight to his house then maybe got changed or something. And when we got to his house I was greeted by his dog which was really cool. Because I always wanted a dog as a kid. And he asked me if I wanted to play Xbox. So I said yes obviously and I sat down in his room while I was waiting for him you know, to say all up at the time. You know, because I didn't really know much about Xbox at the time I think I had a Wii I used to play on that but I was still new to Xbox at all I didn't even have Xbox Live Gold at the time so I didn't even know what that was so when he loaded up this game we were playing the game looked very different from what I were usual playing because I only had with my Xbox 360 bundle a few Lego games you know like the ones that give you like I think it were Lego Batman and Lego Indiana Jones, I think they were that one. I actually really enjoyed Indiana Jones, that was pretty cool. And the Batman one, I remember playing that a lot. But, and I, I oh, oh, by the way, I also had Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, just out of curiosity. And later on, I did actually discover Minecraft, and that's when I did discover Xbox Live Gold, and I began playing multiplayer, and more classic titles along the way. So he gave me a controller, and I was waiting for him, you know, to say it all up. The menu and the loading screens look very similar, like I've seen it before. And I realised that it was Call of Duty 4. Modern Warfare. But I was just used to playing the campaign over and over again. Arcade mode, mission by mission, all the way through. Many times, even me and my dad used to play it together and that was pretty cool. So I was just used to just playing the uh, campaign because I didn't, again, I didn't have gold. But he loaded up multiplayer. But, but he, I don't think he had gold, but he loaded up local play. Do you know, like, you connect two controllers up and it's like a guest kind of offline multiplayer, that kind of thing, where no statistics and stats are saved. So we loaded up that, and we were playing for a bit. And I think the first map I played was, oh, what do you call it? It was like that town map. I'll put it on screen now, like the name of it, because I can't remember it exactly, but I'll show you guys now. So yeah, that's how I actually discovered Call of Duty. And then later on, when we went out for tea, I, don't, I can't remember why we went out for tea, but we went round to our local pub for actually dinner, so we didn't actually go to his house for dinner. And then I think maybe a month, two, or a few weeks later, I actually started playing my Call of Duty for then. I tried to do what he was doing, you know, trying to sell multiplayer, but I had no idea how we're doing it. I remember me having an Xbox 360 controller and me giving my dad one, and I tried to say it all up, but I just really couldn't. But we finally fitted it out together. And we played multiplayer for a bit, and it was really fun. I, I just loved the multiplayer Call of Duty for so much. Just I moved primaries as well, and then my new primary, I met new friends, and one friend told me about Xbox Live Gold, and then we were talking, and then I got home, got gold, so I were playing, and trying to figure it all out, and then I ended up discovering that I was talking to my friend over what you call now Xbox parties. We finally figured that out, and my mum let me play for a few hours, and the most really good thing, the first online game I played with a friend, was Minecraft and I can't remember if I still have my first ever original world that I played on you know what? I'll try and find it out just to show you guys the world that I first ever created so yeah that's the story of how I discovered I should really call the video how I discovered Call of Duty and Xbox Live really because that's what it is I just explained two stories in one so yeah it was really cool and then later on I think the next Call of Duty I got was Black Ops 2 because I missed a few years. That was just so cool. I used to have so many good memories. I didn't, however, play much campaign of Black Ops 2. As I would have liked to. And I think I got the first Black Ops after that. And I enjoyed the um, the zombies more on the original Black Ops. Just because, you know, of like the many maps. I don't know why I loved it more. It's just that me and my friends used to just stick with the first Black Ops. Just for playing zombies. Because there were so many maps. Including there were five. Was it Tino de Toten? But... 
Yes, that's how I discovered Call of Duty at the time, and the most fun of Call of Duty I ever had fun on, believe it or not. Some of you guys are probably gonna hate me for saying this. And was Call of Duty Ghost? Now, maybe for some of you guys that may be a shock, but that's just how I used to play, and it was really fun. I stopped playing with my friends for quite a while, but just recently I got back into Black Ops 3. So yeah guys, Call of Duty has been obviously a childhood sort of related game for me. So that's been really good. So as always guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry if it's a little bit more stupid and boring and obviously I know my commentary is still bad. I say that in every video. But please excuse me for the commentary. I'm still getting used to like trying to figure out good ways of making my commentary better. Not just like audio editing but actually like speaking as well. Because I know I do speak a bit fast. So let me... Let me know guys if you want to see more commentary videos like this. Because believe it or not, these commentary videos where I just talk about a certain topic and you guys just watch like a background gameplay or something, these are actually my favourite type of videos to make. So let me know what you think and leave a like and subscribe if you are new and you have enjoyed today's video. I'll be knowing gaming. Peace out guys.